Let's take a tour of Adobe InDesign so you can become familiar with the workspace and the tools available. With the latest version of InDesign CC open, you can open your own document or this document from the practice files for this tutorial. Once a file is open, you see the workspace. The workspace is made up of an open document in the document window, this area, the menus at the top of the application, the application bar below the menus, the tools panel on the left, and finally, panels that are docked on the right, like the properties panel. As you explore InDesign, you'll find that you can arrange this workspace to have things you use all the time easily accessible, or maybe to show more of the document you're working on and less of the tools and panels. In the tools panel on the left, you see all of the tools you can use to create and edit content in your documents. Some of the tools have a little arrow in the corner, which means there are more tools you can choose from. For example, press and hold down on the rectangle tool to see a menu of tools. Then choose the ellipse tool from the menu that appears. You can now see the ellipse tool is selected. Come back up to this selection tool or the black arrow up here and select it. The selection tool is a tool you use a lot to do things like select and move content. With it selected, come out to the document and click to select this image. If you look in the properties panel to the right of the document, the properties panel shows options for the content you select and the options change depending on what's selected. Panels like the properties panel are where you can work with pages, apply formatting like colors and a whole lot more. Click the pages panel tab at the top to show the pages panel. The pages panel is grouped with the properties panel and the CC libraries panel here. To show the properties panel again, click the properties panel tab and it'll hide the pages panel. If you find that you need more space in the document window to work on your document, you can click the arrow at the top of the doc panels to collapse the panels. If you want to see the panels again, you can click the arrow again. These docked panels and others are found in the window menu at the top of the screen. Any panel that has a check mark is open and currently showing. This is also where you'll find the tools and the properties panel as well. Let's open another panel. Choose Text Wrap from this window menu to open the Text Wrap panel. This panel is called Free Floating because it's not docked with the other panels on the right. You can move free floating panels by dragging the title bar at the top or the panel tab. You can also dock one or more of the panels on the left or right side of the workspace. To dock the Text Wrap panel, drag the panel by the tab, the name up here, to the right onto the panel tabs at the top up here. When a blue highlight appears around the properties panel group, release. The text wrap panel is now added to the group. As you start opening and closing and moving panels, you may find you want to reorganize and clean up the workspace. To do this, you can reset the workspace. Click Essentials in the application bar above the document and choose Reset Essentials to put all of the panels back to their default locations. In this menu, if you see something else chosen to start, choose Essentials first, and then choose Reset Essentials. Organizing your workspace can make working in InDesign faster and easier. Now that you have an idea of how to manipulate the workspace, you can begin to customize your InDesign workspace to your individual working style.